At only about half as wide in diameter as a U.S. penny, the largest raindrops ever recorded, between 8.8 .8 millimeters and 1 centimeter, were observed by scientists in the clouds above Brazil in 1995 and the Marshall Islands in 1999. It is unknown, however, if these bad boys ever reached the ground at that size. So why can't raindrops grow to arbitrarily large sizes? To begin with, let's talk a little about how raindrops actually form. Raindrops are more than just water. The vapor in a cloud has to have something to condense around. Called condensation nuclei, little particles in the air from dust, smoke, or even salt sit at the center of tiny droplets that begin to form in a cloud. These tiny droplets, usually between 0.001 and 0.005 millimeter in diameter, at first form a nearly spherical shape thanks to the relatively strong cohesive forces between the water molecules. However, as the water drop is buffeted around in the air, it collides with other drops, and these small drops coalesce into larger and larger droplets. Ultimately, the water drop will become large enough to fall to the earth. When this happens, the surface tension of the water that keeps the drop more or less spherical is partially overcome by the airflow pressure on its lower surface as it falls. This causes the bottom of the drop to flatten out, while the top retains its rounded shape. Thus, contrary to popular perception of a teardrop-shaped raindrop, thanks to the various pressures the water drop is subjected to as it falls to the ground, the raindrop actually tends to look sort of like a kidney bean or the top of a hamburger bun. For very large droplets, it can even start to look something like a jellyfish fish bell, with this usually happening when a raindrop reaches around 4 millimeters across. When the droplets get larger than this, at around 5 millimeters, the air pressure will ultimately overcome the surface tension of the water completely, and the raindrop will split apart. As the drop continues to fall, it can continue to grow or shrink as it bumps into and absorbs or is broken apart by other droplets. Thanks to this process, the average raindrop that actually makes it to your head is only around 1 to 2 millimeters across. That said, scientists began recording significantly larger drops in the 1980s while studying clouds. For instance, in 1986, cloud physicists, using the staple of all awesome science, lasers, recorded raindrops as large as 8 millimeters in a tropical storm over Hawaii, which was shocking since, at the time, there had been a kind of consensus that raindrops would never get bigger than about 2.5 millimeters. Even factoring in that these large drops were buffeted about in the clouds instead of falling to the earth, the scientists were surprised to find that they could last long enough to grow that big without being broken apart. But rather, during that early research in Hawaii, they found that the average lifespan of a 5mm drop was around a remarkable 20 minutes. For the aforementioned 8.8mm and 1cm record-holding raindrops found in the clouds over Brazil, scientists opined that they were the product of relatively large ash particles from fires burning in one of Brazil's rainforests. The larger the condensation nuclei, the larger the raindrop can potentially be, at least to a point. As for the similarly sized raindrops observed in 1999 on a relatively clear day in the Marshall Islands, they hypothesized that these droplets formed around salt nuclei and that there must have been an unusual high content of liquid water in a narrow area of the clouds, which caused the droplets to collide more frequently, but without breaking, forming these mega drops. And just before everybody leaves, just wanted to say thank you to our YouTube members and patrons over on Patreon, like our extremely longtime supporter, the Professor Mark Buffardi. If you'd like to join us in helping to make these educational videos, please do check out our new YouTube membership option or Patreon page and the perks we offer in the links below. If you're not able, no worries. As ever, thank you for watching and helping us keep this channel going that way. And a special gold star for you for watching to the end. It's amazing how much that helps with the YouTube gods. Thank you.